Hi guys, welcome back to Grow Family Projects. Well, this is going to be part two of working on this trailer. And we're going to be putting the backing plates on right now and maybe even putting the wheel hubs on. So here Scott is uh, working on getting everything together. The camera shy uh, brother of mine. Which, he don't mind being filmed, he just don't like talking to the camera. Right, Scott? Yep. Any longer bolts wouldn't have worked. Huh? Any longer bolts wouldn't have worked. Wouldn't have? And then it would have hit that U-bolt. Oh, yeah. Uh, we got one inch uh, grade 8 bolts to hold that backing plate on. Probably don't need grade 8. It's supposed to be nuts on the inside and bolts on. Yeah. It's also supposed to be like studs uh, gets yeah. driven in there. I'm recording again. That's fine. I need wrenches. You need wrenches? Yeah. Uh, 9 16th. He's out here just in the sun, just enjoying the sun, isn't he? Yeah, he wants in. That's what he wants. He doesn't want to sit out here and enjoy the sun. He, kinda, he knows they're in there. Yeah. Oh, it's okay, Chief. He knows he's going by her window. Yeah. He knows what window it is. He's not a dumb dog. I'm surprised Emily's dad's not here yet. Yeah. Think that'll be good? Yeah, go around and do the other side. You 
the other backing plate. Where's it at? Back of blazer? Yeah. Because this has a L on it. Does that one have an R, R on Probably. it? Probably. Oh, I didn't even look at that. And I bet it's this arm right here that makes that difference. I'm not sure. Where's it stamped at? Right there in the bottom. Okay, bottom. And I think that arm's gotta go on the front side. Yeah, so I probably put the wrong backing plate on. Yeah, I'd say you did. And the magic of filmmaking is going to be fixed in a matter of seconds. Let's say brakes will get it. Got water yeah. brakes up next to it. I won't be today. What's the nut that goes on this? Now I need to go get a big crescent wrench too, don't I? I'll go get your big press wrench. I don't know if I got it started or not. First time was cross started. We don't want that, do we? No, we don't want cross threaded. Now we got for the tires on the rims still, and yep. I was gonna take them with me, but uh, since uh, we got something came up for tomorrow, it's not gonna get done. You know it. Mm -hmm. Well, was you gonna do it at home? I was going to take it to my buddy Zach. Have him do it? Uh huh. Which I guess I could take him with me and maybe we could do it tonight. I brought tire tools with me just in case we had time today to do it here real quick. They're brand new tires, so they'll pop right oh, on yeah. real quick. They will. I got everything there. The volumes are sitting in there. Yeah.
all that rust dragging on the brakes, isn't it? It's a magnet. Yeah. It's up against it in there. Yeah, my buddy Zach, though, he's, uh, I can't film him. He don't want to be, he's completely camera shy. Kids are playing. Yep. There we go. Do you bend the cotter pin over? Not yet. See how do you go like that, leave it there and just that? You could. Or turn it and go. I would turn it and go the other way. Either way, it's not going to move. Yeah, it don't matter. Kind of if you turn it, it barely has a little lip. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm leaving that one straight and I'm just going to bend this outside one. Sometime, uh, my trailer at home, we need to go through and uh, grease bearings in it too. I've, we've never done that and I've had a trailer a while now. Yeah, you put a lot of miles on that trailer. Yes, that trailer's had a lot of miles put on I'm it. just going to bend that one. Yeah. And I don't think it's going to go anywhere. No, I don't think it is either. Okay. I'd like to have the hammer and a bolt. The uh, hammer's on the other side, isn't it? Yeah, and there's a bolt down there too that we can use. Bolt. It's up by the tire. I see it from here. There it is. Yep. That's the one I used earlier. See why I wanted the bolt? Yeah, you know, you got a punch in the shed. I see I it in there. I know. I remember buying them. Want to go get the punch? No, nah, that bolt for you is fine. Okay then. <laughs> okay then. Hey, we got an axle under there. Now we just need to tighten up those all those bolts there before we put the tire on. Yeah. <laughs> well, like that popped out. Yep. Air in there. Is this supposed to pop out like that? Well, that's actually a dust cap because some of them axles that has a grease fitting you could put in there and you could grease that, uh, bearings. But that was like that until I yeah. popped it in there. <laughs> Yes. Good enough.
hammer right there. <laughs> Any tool we use as a hammer as long as it's big enough, right? Yep. There are bolts right there. Oh no. Okay. I was getting this started. Back in the house, that night. Yeah, sounds like it. You went in with the girls. They went back in? Yeah. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, this is going to conclude part two of uh, putting this axle underneath this trailer. Part three is going to be coming out. It's going to be mounting the tires. All right, see you on the next one.